Hello and welcome to another video. On this video I will show you how I'm trying to read this BSI. It's from a Peugeot 307 and I make the connection according to diagram of uh, Xprog. They are almost the same connection. You can also take your points, you can take the uh, multimeter and you can uh, check for continuity. And if you are not happy with this point you can search on the board, you'll still have different uh, choices where you can solder these uh, cables. Why I do this video? It is because I think will be interesting for you if you are using uh, CG Pro. I told on the beginning it is much simple but uh, it was not that simple. I managed to read this uh, BSI. I forgot to tell you this is a, a value of BSI and I will show you the uh, step what uh, you should follow if you want to read this BSI with uh, CG Pro. Of course you have videos showing you on the internet using Pupa or Xprog or all these uh, clones. At least what I know on this video the pe people are using only these clones. Um, you can also read with Carfrog. All of these things works but I didn't see a video using uh, CG Pro. Okay. I'll put also a picture on the screen with the connection. But it's very simple as you can notice here you have reset, ground, plus and data. More simple than that it cannot be. Okay, I will take the camera now and I will show you on the laptop because we have the connections here. And I will show you how many times I try to read this uh, BSI until I have the results. Because on the first time I, I have only issues with this one. I will show you now what I tried to do at the first and I didn't have results. Of course I selected my MCU and after that because I know this one belongs to this chip belongs to this group this should be the model according to datasheet I didn't go first over here I go first over here because this is uh, the precise description 912 DG128 okay I'm trying to read all of this so what I want to mention you should read the EEPROM you need the EEPROM you don't need the flash and when you press over here on read you'll see the chip is encrypted he will try to uh, make uh, decrypting of this uh, chip but with no result And I try all of these models from here. And after that, trying uh, this one was the first, the second one, the third attempt. I was going back to this one. You noticed you cannot read. I tried this one, also, it doesn't work. And I said, you know, let's try this one. It's not DG, it's uh, DT, but I said why not. And I try this one, and this one actually it works. You see how fast it is, okay? Then from this BSI, okay, this is the MCO model what uh, you should read from here. You can notice it's already done. I will don't save anymore. Now I will proceed to write back. I will open the file from here. I go on the BSI. And I modify this one. My money is not modified, it was just uh, deleting the errors. And now, now we'll proceed to write back these things on the EEPROM.
that seems to take much longer. I tell you honest, I didn't know if these things work or not. It is the first time time is the first time when I'm trying to write with this uh, program. But if you can notice, it should be okay. Also, let's make a reading. I will save the data and I will compare it. Okay, let's put it one 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 because we'll know exactly which data it, it is. And now I will open a, a program. Let's start first the EEPROM OK. And now this was the reading. As you can notice, it's similar, OK? There's no difference between this one. Uh, what I want to show you the difference. This was the first time when this uh, BCI he have errors. Okay, let's make bigger. You have to hear the EE prom. This is also the uh, repairing of this BSI, but using two different programs, and on the end it was the same result. You noticed it's a huge difference between repaired one and with problem with issues okay also over here then to go back to this programmer don't try to read with uh, pflash because this pflash will not work on this programmer who are using for uh, modifying this uh, data then you will need only eeprom you don't need the entire flash and after that you will modify the da data and you'll write it back i'm quite happy with this one in the last time i use only this one i don't use another programmers because uh, this one give me actually excellent results with um, MCU and EEPROM and all of this stuff. Until now it uh, didn't disappoint me. Okay, It was a short video. It's not so much to say about this uh, program with this BSI. I hope it was uh, useful information over there. And likewise, thank you for watching. Bye bye.